Hello guys. Welcome to my pet guide. <laughs> to enjoy watch my video. <laughs> I had to. Okay, I'm uh, just kidding. All right, guys, and welcome to my pet guide. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do your pets in BDO and how the UI kind of works for it uh, and what to kind of look for for pets. <laughs> all, right. all right, so there's a lot of different types of pets in BDO, and all of this can be very confusing for a new player. The first thing you need to understand is how to open your pet window that is in the top left of your screen up by your pet list up here. Um, you can also open it through the UI. I have a UI guide. I recommend going to check that out. Um, it's under something pet it's under function there it is so you can open it here but most people are going to open it out here okay that's how you open this window you're gonna the game is going to give you like five or six pets for free you can get pets uh there's a suggested uh tab for pets here uh which will allow you to do very quickly i believe i've already done them um pets loyal companions these five quests right here are going to give you five pets for free then the main story should give you one or two pets for free i'm not sure should it's like it's one or two pets uh and then you should get one or two for login rewards as well so you're gonna get a number of pets for free you don't necessarily have to spend money on pets although i recommend tier three pets as a general rule uh if you're okay with spending the money let's talk about uh what pets look like at tier one tier two tier three and tier four um this is the tier one this is a tier one rabbit here and you'll see if I click the exchange button, uh, you can see underneath the rabbit, you can see that it is a premium pet. So there are different types of pets that you can buy. This is extremely important because how you spend your money uh, matters here. So if you're going to spend money on pets, what I'm about to tell you is extremely important. Premium, rare, classic, and event pets can only be like slammed together to get to higher tiers with other pets of the same type. Okay, so if I wanted to level up my penguin here, I would need more rare pets. Okay, so when you're buying pets off the marketplace, um, I mean off the pearl shop, you need to make sure that the pet that you're buying is considered rare. It will tell you the value of the pet right here. This one's a premium pet. This is the otter. So if I wanted to slam the otter together with something or level up the otter, I would need other premium pets to do that. So make sure you're buying the correct type of pet um for what you're trying to enhance forward okay that's a thing that a lot of people mess up um the event pets are the ones that they give away for free you're gonna get cuckoo bird after cuckoo bird after cuckoo bird um it's one of, it's one of those things from like i say there goes our last female you know what i mean you're just gonna keep slamming them together until there's only one really you're just kind of aiming for a tier three cuckoo bird uh in general um birds are almost always premium uh birds uh always give you knowledge uh actually let's go over the skills real quick okay so there's your there's two types of pet skills that people talk about and people misrepresent these all the times there's your pet's special skill which we will call special so we don't get it confused okay and then there's your pet's normal skill okay the normal skill in this case for the bunny for example gives me life exp plus one percent this is at tier one if I level up the bunny to tier three, I don't think I have a level three bunny here. No, I do not. Um, but this skill will go up to 3%. If it's a tier four, it'll be 4% life EXP. So get 1% extra at every level based on what this skill on the right is, okay? This finds resources. This special right here also goes up in tier as you tier up your pet. But for some pets, it really doesn't matter. For like the bunny, it says find special resources. Nobody cares, okay? Um, that's a garbage, that, that's garbage, okay? There are certain pets whose special is extremely, extremely good. Um, for example, some pets give you special auto fishing time reduction. That means when you throw your fishing rod in the water for your AFK fishing, which you're going to do on seasonal, you will fish faster with your hands off the keyboard sleeping, okay? You will get more fish um, with a higher tier pet. So if I had, this is a polar bear here. This is one of those pets, okay? So the polar bear gives special auto fishing time reduction if the polar bear was tier four it would give like 20 percent or something uh auto fishing speed reduction it's crazy uh i'm not sure exactly on the percentages you can quote me on it but it goes up at each tier okay it's usually like 10 20 30 40. so it should be 30 percent uh auto fishing time reduction at tier three but don't quote me on that uh it's the polar bear skill is weight limit so it's actually at tier three and it's got 
40 weight, which means at tier four, it's going to have 50 weight. And keep in mind, this is weight. So like you can take this out on every character. So like if you have a polar bear, it's going to give every single character weight. I know that a lot of people feel scammed that weight in this game when you buy it off the pearl shop is bound to your character. So if you buy weight on your tamer, your dark knight is not going to have that weight. But if you have uh, a tier four polar bear and take it out, both of them are going to have 50 extra weight. That makes sense? Okay, so very good pet. Auto fishing uh, time reduction is, is extremely good. Uh, another extremely good pet is the hedgehog, uh, which I'm not sure is on sale right now, but hopefully it is so I can show you. It is not, uh, and it is on my NA account. But there's a hedgehog uh, in the game, uh, and that gives you a special gathering item drop rate. The llama also does it. Yeah, so the hedgehog and the llama are the two pets. and the llama give the exact same thing okay they give the item collection like the item drop rate collection which i will explain uh when you have when you gather or hunt and then gather on something in bdo because it works for hunting too it has a chance to give you uh, give you a second proc of whatever you're gathering so like if you're gathering meat and you got eight meat it has a chance to proc four more meat okay the hedgehog and the llama are basically considered essential items if you're going to be a life skiller uh, doing hunting or gathering in BDO. I hate to say it, but that's basically what it is. It's absolutely pay to win. I apologize. But you can get it on sale for stuff. Um, and just so we're clear, these pet abilities, these special abilities, do not stack. So if you have five polar bears out, this is actually a good example. If you have five polar bears out, the special, the auto fishing time reduction we talked about, it's not going to give you any more than like the 30%, whatever the highest tier is, auto fishing time reduction is. But it will give you more weight. So if you have five polar bears out and they all have 50 weight, you're going to get 250 extra weight on every single character. Does that make sense? Um, versus tier three, tier two, etc. But you don't get any more auto fishing time reduction. It's the exact same thing with the hedgehog. Exact same thing with the hedgehog. You only get one bonus from the hedgehog. I think uh, at maximum, I think the hedgehog is 40% uh, proc chance. So like the higher tier the hedgehog is, the more chance you have to get that extra proc of materials we talked about before. At tier one, it's 10. At tier two, it's 20. At tier three, it's 30. And at tier four, it is 40%. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, when you're slamming pets together to get a higher tier, it will tell you, uh, obviously, like we talked about before, classic event, premium, etc. I'll slam one together just for argument's sake. We'll slam together my cat uh, or not because I don't have another classic pet to slam together with that. Um, I could slam together my duck uh, with my cat, but I really don't want to. So what do I want to do here? But let's just go for the tier four cuckoo. Let's just do it. So you'll notice in this menu here, this is the, you have to click the exchange pet. Okay. This is trying to get higher tier pets. I am telling you right now, this system is rigged out of its mind. Okay. I can't prove this, um, but I have done, I have slammed countless pets together in BDO. I've gotten a lot of free ones. I've spent a lot of money on pets. I can tell you right now that if this counter right here is at 95% and you will find it at 95% at some point in your BDO career and you click that button, there is a very high chance that a thing is going to fail. It is not actually 5%. I don't know if it's not functioning properly or if it's just corporate greed. It does not function properly, okay? So when you are slamming pets together, unless you're doing this where it's like low percentage chance, you need to make sure that this bar is, if you want a tier four pet, make sure that this bar is at 100%, okay? I'm gonna do this, Just I'm just gonna slam it, okay? I'm just gonna hit it. It's only a 15% chance, 85% uh, chance it's gonna stay at tier three, but both these pets are free. They just give them to you in game, so it doesn't matter. Um, when you click the appearance of your pet, this is the pet that's gonna stay. Okay, so if I was slamming a cuckoo with something else, right? if I was slamming two different pets together, the appearance of the pet is the one that you're going to keep. So whatever one you wanna keep, that's the appearance that you need to pick. I don't really care in this case, so I'm just gonna pick the, the one cuckoo, okay? The skills, you can actually retain the skills from the previous pets, okay? So in this case, I like the fact that it has combat EXP. And fishing EXP is really solid too. So we're going to go ahead and keep those. And then it has a chance, you know, if we get to tier four, it'll learn an extra skill. At every tier, it's going to learn one extra skill. Okay, so it should have four skills at tier four. Right now it's tier three, so it's going to have three skills. It's going to have these two 
plus the item, uh, like the knowledge thing. So like the knowledge is 1%. And then these are the other two skills here. So we're going to go ahead and you have to enter the first name of your pet. First name has to be capitalized. Uh, okay. Shocked, really. Um, but like when you say, and then you can see I have the new pet in my inventory. Pet levels are not a thing anymore, so you don't really have to worry about that. But when you're slamming together to try to get tier four pets, you really, really should. Um, let's see if I can try to slam for a premium. This is a premium. This is a premium. You see how the percentage chance goes up a little bit each time. If I add a tier one pet, it's actually 15%. I think if you add a tier three pet, it's like 30%. So like you can add three tier threes and a tier two and I think get 100%. I think that's how it works. Um, Wizard Gosfi is unique. I don't know if I have a Gosfi. Yeah, I don't have a Gosfi on this account. Uh, but Gosfi is unique because it'll give you a higher percent chance. It'll basically give you a tier three pet um, to put in there. This is not a real pet, okay? People, new players don't understand. This is a cute little pet that a lot of players will use and they'll be like, oh, it's running around with me. This is one of my pets. This is not a normal pet, okay? This pet is meant to be thrown in the mulcher, okay? So you flip the machine on, you throw it in there and wood chips come out the other side, okay? Like this pet is not real. You don't walk around with this. You use this to tear up your other pets, okay? Because it has a really, it helps boost the percentage chance on your pet. So if you have like three or four Gosfies, it's basically going to go, but it's extremely expensive to force it with Gosfies. The game does give away a fair amount of these for like login rewards during the year. I would say I get three or four um, of these a year, um, every year that I've played the game. So I have a lot of tier four pets on my main account, on my North American account. Um, and then, oh, this is another very important pet here. We're going to go over very quickly. This is the Arctic Fox. This is uh, one of the ones that people are going to tell you is required. This is not at all required, but it is helpful. Um, the Arctic Fox um, and I think the Dokebi um, is the Dokebi. Uh, but that, that one's kind of like a weird exclusive one. But they both have the same um, like um, skill chance. Uh, the skill on this pet is um, item drop rate. So at tier one, it'll have 1% drop rate. At tier four, it'll have 4% drop rate. Most people put their Arctic Fox as the tier five pet, okay? And then you can only have one pet in your party that's tier five. Most people choose the Arctic Fox for that, and it'll give it 5% item drop rate, okay? And that's pretty good, uh, especially if you plan on playing the game a really long time. So this is definitely one of the pets I would look at investing into for sure. Um... Can you use Gosfi with any pet to level up that pet? Yes. So, for example, Gosfi can be... Gosfi is a classic premium. It counts as every single pet type in the game. That's an excellent question. Thank you. Gosfi absolutely counts as every single pet time at the, in the game, type in the game, except for special. There is a very unique type of pet called the Garmoth pet. Uh, well, what's it called, guys? The Crimson Dragon. There they are. So, these... Crimson Dragons here are actually special pets. Um, it will not tell you on my NA account. I have them, um, and I can log over. I'll just log over to my NA account real quick, guys, because I'll be able to demonstrate a number of different things. So we had an excellent question while we were uh, changing over. Uh, it's what pets pick loot up the fastest? And it has nothing to do with, like, what type of pet it is. In most cases, it is literally just the tier of pet, Okay. Tier 1 pets always pick up loot at the same approximate rate. Um, I don't know if I have any Tier 1 pets. I do have one Tier 1 pet. Does it tell me? So how fast your pet picks up loot is entirely dependent on the tier. So I have four different tiers of pets here. And all T4 pets will pick up loot at exactly the same piece. Um, T3 pets will do the same. So will T1. Tier 1 pets pick things up every 4.4 seconds. Okay. Tier 2 pets pick things up every... Wait. Sorry, guys. Tier 1 pets pick up, pick up loot every 3.6 seconds. Okay. Tier 2 pets pick things up every 3.6... Wait. Oh, yeah, they're the same. I forgot. Tier 1 and Tier 2 exactly the same. Tier 3, though, comes down to 2.7. They did change it so that T1 and T2 are exactly the same. Tier 3, though, comes down to 2.7. So if you have a Tier 1 or a Tier 2 pet, it really is not going to matter in your loot pickup. Tier 3 is where you get the substantial difference. So it comes down by almost a full second. That's 0.9 seconds 
Uh, and then if you have a tier four pet, it's 2.25 seconds. So the difference between these two is what? 0.55 um, seconds, uh, about half a second pickup time between tier three and tier four pets on every single pet. So if you have full tier fours, uh, they're going to be picking things up a lot more frequently than if you have tier threes. Um, however, I will say that most grind zones in the game are only going to require you to have really tier three pets uh, on Agile and you should be okay. The sad news is that when you're a new player, the low end grind spots actually require way more pet cap capacity. So like tier four pets help you way more at the low end grind spots than they do at the high end grinds. At high end grind zones, a lot of them are just kind of standing there like the Israel Highlands, uh, the oil fields as people call them. You kind of just stand there. Your pets could be on like slow if you wanted them to be. It really isn't going to matter. Sadly, like the lower tier, like the lower you are as a player, the higher tier pets that you're probably going to need. Uh, and that's just kind of how it is. Um, I will say that there is an exception to this. There are certain pets in the game that pick things up at a greater distance. Um, and there are people in the game that swear by these pets. One of them is the Rose Tail. I think this one. Um, this is the Finch, right? I'm pretty sure the Rose Finch. Yeah, there we go. Like you can see in very small text, it says picks up items within a slightly wider range. So technically, the parrot, the finch, and the owl give you better item drop, right? Like, like pickup range. Because if you're moving pack to pack very quickly and you move out of range for some of your other pets, you can, it can technically still reach back and get like from a slightly wider range. And I will say it says slightly wider range. It is reasonably significant. I, I do ocean content. I use my my finch and stuff, like my parrots and stuff, um, when I'm doing uh, ocean content, because like when you're on your boat, you're really far above the level of the water and you're like kind of far away from the loot. And it absolutely does reach further to get to get that loot. So you can definitely tell the difference. Um, so like really the rose finch, um, what did we say? The, the, the birds, basically. Um, not all the birds, though, just like this one. And... What are the other two that do this? The parrot, the finch, and the owl. Okay, yep, yeah, you see it. You, you need to make sure that before you buy it, it has the picks up within a slightly wider range. Okay, the owl's kind of cute. Um, it is what it is. Okay, what's the T5 pickup rate? Well, let's pull it out. I do have a tier five pet here. We're going to talk about T5 pets right now because that's what I have decided to do. We're kind of freelancing this. You'll notice that the item drop rate is 5%. The item drop rate does not stack. So if you have multiple of the Arctic Fox out, it is not going to stack, okay? It's very, it's unlike the other stuff. Um, if I had five birds out, for example, the knowledge gain chance from each bird would stack. But for this pet, it's unique, it doesn't stack. Um, the If I turn this on maximum, the, the pickup chance for a tier five pet is 1.87 seconds. To be clear, you're like, well, how do I get tier, tier five pets? Well, the game was generous with this because they could have monetized this, but they chose not to. There's a quest done in Comisilvia. You can run for a tier five pet. It should be in your suggested tab. Under adventurer support level 60, appoint your alpha pet. You do these three quests right here and you can get a tier five pet. You can make as many tier five pets as you want once you do the quest line once. Um, but essentially the tier five pet gives all of the pets in your party a bonus. Um, the pack leader loot cooldown minus 15% for active pets. So once you have a tier four pet, you can make any tier four pet a tier five pet. Okay. Um, so like I could have made any of my dragons a tier five and it will just level up their skill on the right side. The reason I did it for this one is because this is the item drop rate one. So I figure 1% item drop rate is probably more valuable than 1% more combat EXP, if that makes sense. You can also do it for a polar bear or the Garmoth pet, the Crimson Dragon uh, in game as well. I have Crimson Dragons, they're right here. Um, I almost have a tier four, four version of this, which means once I get a tier four, I'm going to make a tier five because the Garmoth pet, this is the in-game pet that you have to get in-game. It's a special pet, okay? Uh, special grade pet. In fact, if I click exchange, you will see that on the list. See how it says special here? Um, it's something that you will never see on any other pet in the game um, as it can only be... Um, enhanced with other Garmoth pets. This includes Wizard Gosfi. You cannot use Wizard Gosfi on Garmoth pets, okay? And 
I do want to point out that we talked about this before. But if I put all of these in here, I have a 75% chance. Okay. But since I have to get all of these in game, do you know what I'm not going to do? Hit the button. Unless this is 100%, do not hit the button. You will waste your money. It will fail. Okay. You do not, you do not click this. Okay. I'm waiting for a couple extra Garmoth pets and then I will click it when it's at 100%. Okay. Um, there are pets that have special stuff. Like I will say that they give away these high tays very frequently. Um, these give you like horse mount EXP. Um, so like if you're a horse trainer, you plan on doing AFK horse trading. These are great, but they, the game is going to give like two or three of these to everyone on the server every year. Usually they give these away as login rewards. And then my recommendation, if you're a horse trainer is when they are put up on the marketplace or when they give them away, just put orders down right here, just like I did, and you will get them. Um, you'll just get them for free, just for, for silver on the marketplace. You don't have to actually spend money for stuff like that. Um, because they, again, they give them away for login rewards all the time. Okay, so we went over tier five pets, uh, cause tier five pets make everything in your party pick up loot faster. So all you really need is to get one tier four pet guys, and you need to make that one pet a tier five, and then all of your tier threes will pick up loot faster. Okay, so like, it's important to have one tier five pet if you can get there. Um, having the rest of them at tier four is like, whatever. Um, like, yeah, it'll help you, but like, I, it's probably not worth spending the money. You're probably looking at at least probably 70 or $80 a pet. Um, if you got lucky or you, you just, you're just playing a different game, maybe you could look at it like $30 a pet, but like, it's kind of expensive. Do you need to feed pets to get the passive skills? Another excellent question. Thank you. Um, so if I, this is my, this is my gathering pets. Okay, in order to get the special skill to work, we talked about the difference between the special and the, the normal skill. In order to get the special to work, the pet has to be fed. Okay, in order to get this bonus, this is just passive. They don't need to be fed. Okay, so if I'm gathering, and we talked about the hedgehog before. If I'm gathering, I'm very cost efficient when I gather. The rest of these pay pets stay at 0%, and I just feed the hedgehog. And then his passive will work. You just keep him on a cautious, okay? Yeah, the difference between cautious, agile, um, or cautious, normal, and agile is how quickly they pick up loot. So you can right-click this little button here, and it will change all of them at the same time. Or you can left-click one, and you can change them individually. But, like, when you're grinding, obviously make sure your pets are on agile. Uh, and when you're gathering or you have your pets out for other stuff, make sure they're on cautious. Otherwise, you're just going to burn through food. Uh, the agile will burn through food at, like, five times the rate that cautious does. So just... Bear that in mind. Um, I only really need the... It like Okay, so if you're AFK fishing, pop quiz. If you're AFK fishing, this is my auto fishing reduction pet right here. This is, I named him Puxatawney Phil, and if you understand that reference, you're a unit. It's a groundhog. has the same passive as um, some of the other um, pets in the game, like the polar bear. Um, do I need to feed this guy, or do I need to not feed this guy? If I want to AFK fish. It is a great movie. You got to feed him. That's right. He's got to be fed. Okay. If you want his pass, if you want his special passive to work, the auto official time reduction, he's got to have food. The rest of them, you're like, okay, well, I want my fishing pets out. So you're going to get the fishing EXP from the other pets. That's fine. They don't need to be fed for that. But if you're going to use the auto fishing time reduction, he needs to be fed. Okay. Uh, what's a good food to buy and where do you get it? Okay, good question. All right, there are many different types of feed in this game, okay? This is the stuff that you they usually give you from the pearl shop or people you can make this in-game. Um, not required, don't recommend it, it's whatever. Good feed is typically considered the most efficient uh, and then organic feed is, you just buy what's available, I'm gonna be honest. Um, lots of different feed, okay? A lot of people just use cheap feed, but this is going to be pretty expensive to feed your pets. It's like, whatever. I make good feed. Um, so, like, it doesn't really cost me anything. Uh, it's got... The recipe to make it requires fish and stuff, so a lot of players can't make it themselves. Uh, you can make this and sell it for a profit. It's actually not bad at all, uh, as long as you're getting the, the materials passively. Um, I used to basically dry my fish every night. So, pro tip, if you're AFK fishing as a new player... You can actually dry your fish 
Um, and then you can use them for the good feed recipe because that's the limiting reagent for the good feed recipe. You can actually use them in good feed later to help feed your pets. Um, most people try to go to the trading uh, NPC uh, and trade them and you'll make less money doing that. What if it's raining? It doesn't matter. This is a video game or it's totally fine. Um, okay. Uh, this is the hedgehog we talked about before. I actually have the golden hedgehog. What's the difference? We have no idea. They won't tell us. Um, I will say that it was tested on other servers and the tested difference was that the golden hedgehog actually gets hards and sharps uh, to proc at a higher rate than the normal hedgehog does. But I have absolutely no evidence to back that up. That's just what I've heard from the other servers. Very quickly, the UI, you can actually assign pets to different groups. So you can see I can hit the number one, two, three, four, five. You can just put them wherever you want. If I want these to come out with the number five pets, I can just click the number five. And then when I click the number five, boom, it pulls him out with him. Uh, I have group pet groups for everything. Two, these are my grind pets here. Um, I will say that there are some scam pets on the marketplace. There's going to be re some really cool ones. One of the scam pets we're going to talk about at the very end of the guide here uh, is this one right here. This is the Black Dragon. A lot of players take it among uh, upon themselves to try to get the Black Dragon. Um, if I go to pets right here, there should be... Yep, right here. The game is going to try to get you to buy this pack. And the Black Dragon looks really cool. But you need to understand that this is a scam. Okay? In this box, you can get... A black dragon at tier one, a golden dragon at tier two, a golden dragon at tier three, and a golden dragon at tier four. Well, a lot of players try to just collect dragons, right? Like I have a lot of dragons, right? Um, but so believe it or not, the rarest thing in this pack is actually the T1 black dragon. And it only has a 1% drop rate, maybe 2% drop rate coming out of that box. And there is really no way to get the black dragon aside from spending a tremendous amount of US dollars. The re They did give one of these fantastic dragon pants, uh, pets away like they they gave away these surprise pets once uh as like a login reward and you can report me because i pulled the black dragon straight out of the box it was crazy uh and so i of course tiered him up to tier four and so now he's part of my normal regiment there is nothing special about the black dragon other than the fact that it is cosmetic and it is the dragon is black um so you can see when i take it out i have three gold dragons in the black one they all have combat exp on them i really like the combat exp because if you're going to sit on a dummy overnight which a lot of new players or even mid-tier uh, players do um, with your combat books, uh, the combat EXP absolutely helps you. Uh, skill EXP does not stack when you're on the dummy, so skill EXP is not going to help you, but combat EXP does. Um, yeah, you can make it a tier 5 if you want as well. Uh, does death penalty just reduce the chance of losing EXP in crystal or crystals? Uh, death penalty reduction, so if we go through the skills real quick, Death penalty reduction basically just reduces all death penalty reduction. So the chances to lose crystals, the chances to lose EXP. Well, actually, you're always going to lose EXP. Um, but like, it's really just crystals and that's it, right? Like, it's just crystals. The only thing, unless your gear could technically downgrade. If you're a red player and you die to an NPC or a PvE mob, your gear has a chance to downgrade. Your Pendeboraka necklace, your Penoga ring, whatever has a chance to downgrade. The pet can prevent that from happening as well. Uh, I just turn off display for pets and identify as the Black Dragon's owner. That's right. Um, I turn off pets. I don't like seeing my pets running around with me. Uh, most end game players turn them off because they say it affects their FPS and I would probably say that they're right. Is the taunt scale for the pet good? No. 